it's a whole new take take on this. And I mean, Austin's work was always it's just a, it's a social commentary, really. You know, and it you would have let you know in the original you have ladies sort of discussing topics over knitting and things like that and and men and relationships and being forced to marry so that the family won't lose their estate and all the things that society all the troubles that society brought at that time but here rather than discussing it over knitting they're discussing it over battle or you know they're discussing it over combat you're placing a world that we think we know and placing it into a zombie apocalypse and seeing how that world would survive so, and that's fascinating to see how the, the upper classes, you know, they want to continue living their life the way they lived it. They want to, to maintain the way of life that they had, but they can't. And, and what's really interesting and funny at times and, 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 and exciting is, is how they have managed to survive. How has society managed to cope and get through 70 years of, of, of zombie plague? The girls have went through intensive training. I mean, they were having to go every, you know, every day, you know, rehearsing these really complicated fight sequences and really original sequences, sequences that I had never seen before. Well, firstly, it's original because you've got these amazing women in period costume, period period costumes, and you'd expect them to be doing one thing. And you, I mean, if you could, you could watch the beginning of a frame and you go and you see them walking in, and you go, oh, okay, we're watching Pride and Prejudice, and then suddenly they're like, they lift up their dress, and out comes like a samurai sword, and then they start, they start these killer coordinated moves and dispatching zombies all over the place. So that's, I mean, that is something I've never seen before, and it's it's quite hypnotizing. To to go back to Austin and to go back to even some of her letters just that she'd written and sort of reinstate those those beats and really make those love stories and the drama stand up on its own. Whether, even, even if you cut out the zombies, you know, that stands stands up on its own and then you add the zombies and that stands up on its own and together you have this this wonderful, wonderful great mashup, you know, because I think if you got either of those bits wrong, tonally it wouldn't work, but if you get them both right and you place them together, it just it just seems to just seems to fit